American companies consider relocating overseas to avoid taxes. Well, we've reported on inversions before. Here's another twist in tax avoidance. Advisors from large brokerage firms are leaving, taking their clients with them, starting their own firms, yes, in part, for tax reasons. Elizabeth Dilt wrote a comprehensive story about this for Reuters and joins us by Skype. So, Elizabeth, what are the facts here? The facts are that financial advisors at the nation's four largest securities brokers um, brokerages, Morgan Stanley, UBS, Wells Fargo, and Merrill Lynch are all finding that if they leave the brokerage, retire in, excuse me, sell their business to an independent broker dealer or a registered investment financial advisor, then they can get more money on the sale of their business, sometimes two to four times as much, and they can get it at a more favorable capital gains tax rate. How significant is this? Is this creating a, a big impact with the brokerage firms? Because I know we have a cresting wave of retirees about mm -hmm. to come forth. You're right. There's um, estimates say that about 100,000 advisors will be retiring in the next 10 years. So that's a third of the industry. You say that the wirehouses are worried about this. How are they fighting back? For example, Merrill Lynch has uh, created a program that advisors can go into before they retire. They will work with one other, um, their successor basically, and they'll work with that person to solidify client relationships and make sure that those clients stay with the person who takes over their business when they leave. That makes them feel more secure because their retirement offer is contingent on whether or not their clients stay with the firm after they retire. Well, it's a fascinating story, Elizabeth. We're not hearing too much other than your reporting on this. Very interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you.